This is the Vermont Utility Outlook. This outlook is uh, valid the rest of today, Monday, through next Sunday, the 10th of May. Quiet, mildly warm spring weather much of this work week. We'll see dryness and, and winds promoting some high fire danger today, Monday, and again along about Thursday. Precipitation for much of the work week nearly non-existent, just one little shot with cold front working in through Monday night. Now conditions will moisten up some as we head late in the week, especially Friday and beyond as higher dew point temperatures begin to advect into the region, and this will produce a slight thunderstorm threat, though it looks like it would be benign later on. We'll expect a slow transition to leaf out conditions underway, and this will eventually end our fire threat. However, we're looking at very dry conditions. This is uh, antecedent conditions currently this Monday morning, lower dew point temperatures, and temperatures expected to get up uh, across 80 to around 80 degrees here, and in some cases even uh, approaching 85 in some places like the Champlain Valley and Connecticut River Valley. So we're looking at a very warm day and behavior this time of year is an oddity for Vermont. Before leaf out you can get these kinds of very dry conditions and you can see almost a high desert kind of climate. Now we do have a frontal system off to the west of us. This is uh, where dew point temperatures are starting to pull up into the 50s and this will be working through our neck of the woods during the overnight period. A lot of these showers will be uh, becoming rather uh, diffuse and, and pretty uh, few and far between. And so not a lot of precipitation is going to fall to uh, uh, alleviate any kind of our uh, very dry conditions we're seeing currently. Well, we do have some showers and even a few embedded thunderstorms, especially in places like Indiana, the Ohio Valley to be expected, and up into parts of Canada as this frontal system moves through during the overnight period tonight. It's going to be rather weak, so we're not expecting any real great shots for any kind of... Uh, widespread shower activity, precipitation-wise, or any real threat for thunder, but there could be one or two claps of thunder in some parts of northern Vermont as that frontal system works on through. And general precipitation here, we're looking at that frontal boundary beginning to work through here and across Vermont, and you can see uh, before about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and pretty much after around 2 o'clock in the morning, we'll see some very light precipitation, generally uh, under 5 hundredths of an inch, the uh, GFS Ensemble indicates uh, maybe up to about a tenth of an inch, very light and scanty, and some areas will probably be missed as it looks right now. But this uh, frontal boundary moves on out of the region very quickly to our south and uh, continues toward southern parts of New England during the day tomorrow. This will allow for an area of higher pressure to sort of work across the region, though there will be a lot of high clouds spreading across the region, uh, in some cases fairly overcast skies, and especially southern Vermont, I'm looking at uh, conditions overall to be very dry, so uh, another dry day and good project weather expected the rest of today, Monday, as well as Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday, as uh, really no real threats for precipitation up until about the time we get into Friday. Now, you notice north of our region here, this is a valid Friday night, some indications of a potential thunderstorm, and uh, as jet stream energy will be mostly off to the north of us, but it is a situation where uh, we'll have to watch it this this uh, weekend. Saturday and Sunday will both feature the uh, possibility of some shower and thunderstorms, though nothing really of any major concern as it looks right now. Looking way down the road here, we could see another frontal passage along about Monday night or Tuesday of next week, and that system has a little bit more jet stream energy, but that's a long ways off, and I wouldn't trust com computer modeling oh, out past about seven days. Seven-day total precipitation uh, from the Water Prediction Center shows basically about a quarter to about a half inch of rainfall with the most potential across uh, northern areas. GFS Ensemble forecast, as mentioned earlier, at about a tenth of an inch, and you can see very dry conditions thereafter and a very dry Monday. Then we get into a little bit more of a showery scenario thereafter, and that promotes uh, some showers and potential thunderstorms for this weekend. Dew point temperature uh, ensembles uh, from Iowa State Meteogram Generator. You can see a bit of a rise uh, late in the day, but this will occur mostly during the evening hours with that frontal passage and the uh, moisture pulls out ahead of that cold front. Then the cold frontal passage and a very strong drop toward drier conditions. Those drier conditions uh, through much of the week, and as we get into Friday, we'll step ladder back up into uh, higher dew point temperatures. You can see that Saturday and Sunday, we might be seeing dew points uh, around 55 and even approaching 60 degrees as we get towards Sunday. This is uh, a little bit more thunderstorm fuel.
And as you might expect, the temperatures uh, overall um, running above normal across our neck of the woods. That's a change. Uh, with the west actually seeing a cool down, most of the heavy action right now is really across the Rockies and moving into the plains. So above normal temperatures and exceptionally dry conditions. Three days later, looks like not a whole lot of change. In fact, uh, coldest weather remains out to the west, warmest weather across the Ohio River Valley and into the northeast U.S. Warmer temperatures have definitely moved in across the eastern U.S. Again, illustrations of uh, the coldest weather across the higher terrain, and mainly the Rocky Mountains. And looks like uh, the northern hemisphere has finally changed into more of a spring slant, almost summer mode. Of course, the uh, warmest weather across the planet is generally across Africa. Um, we're seeing some very exceptionally warm temperatures across the Sahara and, of course, into the Middle East. And this is a look back over the last seven days. Uh, what you can see is the uh, starting the beginning of the month and actually back into late April. We can see this cutoff low is finally lets go and moves on out of the region after a little bit of an easterly flow. And then conditions start working in from the west. So this is going to promote the chances for thunderstorms and eventually some more moisture working into the region. Again, most of that coming in from the west. So other than high fire danger on this Monday, uh, we're looking at better conditions. In fact, great project weather for much of the week. This frontal system to move through overnight, bring us a little bit of shower activity, then it's out of here. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.